My company is asking us to spend more time on corporate social responsibility. Why should I start? More and more companies are thinking about what people call a triple bottom line, profit, planet, and people. Today, we're going to explore the third of those, the people, what it is, why it's worth doing, and how you can go about starting. Okay, so what is contained in this uh, corporate or social responsibility? I think it's a very wide area and lots of people define it differently, but fundamentally it's anything you do from supporting ethical standards and the way you do business to how you treat your people. By people here we're talking about everyone from customers to employees to the communities you live in and the communities and companies that rely on you. By the way, you should also consider nowadays the general public to be part of your corporate social responsibility, even if they have no relationship with you necessarily. Think about BP's problems in the Gulf, for instance, and ask yourself not only what were they liable for, but as a result of the pressure and corporate social responsibility, what are they morally now going to have to do? That is their corporate social responsibility. So why do it, really, with three good reasons and one you may not have thought of. Three good reasons are legal. You may be forced by regulation to do some of this stuff. Shame, think of the BP example, you may be forced to do this because of damage to your reputation or avoiding damage to your reputation. Uh, three, contractual, some government or enterprise bids actually require you to have a corporate social responsibility if you're actually going to do business with them. However, the better answer is that it's, it's worth doing because it's the right thing to do. Now, there are some people who argue this is just a rouse to make more money. Uh, there may be an element of truth to that, of course, but making more money and doing the right thing are not mutually exclusive. So where do you start? I think you need to build a plan clearly, and a, a plan for corporate social responsibility really has three stages, accounting, auditing, and reporting. So accounting. In accounting, you should try and put some economic benefit to your social actions and which groups they're important to. So some things may be important to some groups, some may not be. Find out what they are and put some economic value to them. In auditing, you need to define a, you know, a continuous process of going back to those actions and making sure they are monitored and ongoing, and they really weren't one-off actions. And finally, reporting. None of this is, makes any sense, necessarily, unless you build an internal and an external communications plan to tell your story, either in a report, on your website, however is the appropriate thing for your company. So let's think of a good example of why this is important. Think about the modern population today, the kids coming out of college, out of university, what matters to them. Your corporate social responsibility plan and how you project that may affect your ability to recruit and retain those good and smart people. They say no man is an island, that's true of a company as well. Thinking through your triple bottom line is good for your business and it's good for your soul.